and it is Stephanie here with Infertile TV and I'm here with Matt of KublaiCon. So how are you? Doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. So I'm, let's just go um, talk about the tour that you're on right now. I mean, you're in Tampa, so it's nearing the end of the tour. I guess how has it been this run and are you looking forward to what you have going on after this tour? Yeah, it's been going real good so far. I mean, this is our, our headlining tour, so it's kind of, as the last band, it's kind of scary as far as what to expect and all that, because, I mean, having everybody stick around every night and all that junk, but we got to put the package together ourselves as far as picking the bands and all that, and I think that really did help and all. And, I mean, over overall, it's been going real well, in my opinion, and stuff like that, so. Awesome, and um, I'll get to your new album, Nomad, in a minute, but I do want to briefly mention the album and just kind of going into playing the material live. Um, I remember, well, I was just reading through some of your YouTube comments, and someone said, scary live, so it is, like, is the material scary when it's played live, or is it just, you know, more heavy stuff, and does the crowd love it, or what do you have to say? I think it's, it's just heavy stuff. I mean, I feel like if, if there was anything scary about it, it would have to be the, I guess maybe like the reaction a crowd was having to it. But I mean, that's what that's what heavy music's all about. It's just about the energy and the the uh, crowd participation and stuff like that. So. Now I can't remember where I read this. I'm not sure if it was a. Uh, I'm not sure if I read this in an interview or online, but I read that you have some new merch that uh, you got for this tour. So overall, what new merch did you get and can uh, your fans buy for all the future touring that you're doing? Yeah, we got like vinyls and stuff of the new album. We got, you know, hockey jerseys, a bunch of different shirts. Pretty much everything that we did for this uh, tour is all just... So it all says Nomad on it, like it's all stuff to just hype the album and stuff like that. But this is probably the biggest merch spread we've ever had for any tour, so. That's awesome. And let's just go into some of the other stuff that's going to be keeping you busy for the rest of the year. You have Hatebreed coming up, you're going to be in Europe, and you're going to be in Australia. So are you excited for all that? Oh, hell yeah, yeah. It's going to be busy. I mean, we get done with this tour, and I think we're home for like a week and a half, and then we have uh, a couple dates with Hatebreed. And then just like a week after that is when we go to uh, Europe, mm -hmm. doing Europe for a month and then basically directly after that going to Australia. So it's going to be basically until Christmas, it's going to be filled up, Friday. which, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, and that's why we like to do it, so. Nice. And I, and I think I read that you've been to Europe before. Have you ever been to Australia? Yeah, this will be our second time. And uh, first time we went, it was it was really, really good as far as places we had been outside of the country Australia was probably where we were like uh, received the best nice. so I think this is going to be a really really good situation especially with the Cassius train on it so nice and um, I guess uh, mentioning Nomad now because uh, I was just kind of reading on some of the lyrical concepts of the album and um, I read that a lot of it has to do with you know being on the road and being a nomad and constantly touring so I mean is this what you love do you love being a nomad and being on the road and touring yeah, I mean, it, it has its pros and its cons. I mean, if I if I didn't love it, I mean, if all of us didn't love it, it's the kind of thing we probably wouldn't keep doing it. But, it, but it's becoming the kind of situation now that we're gone so much that being home is what feels weird. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. Being on the road and all that, that's what that's what feels right. So that's why we've been doing it. I mean, the, we're coming on 10 years of being a band and all that. So, I mean, it's it's been moving and it's been a slow creep, but, I mean, it's it's what we do and we love doing it. So. And let's go ahead and talk about Nomad now. The album's been out for, it's been about a week or almost yeah, yeah. a week. I think, so I think tomorrow will be a week, oh, okay. I believe. So how has the reception been? Uh, it's been the best of any album we've had so far, which I, I credit a lot of that to the fact that we just signed a rise. Mm -hmm. And being on the road right now is really helping. Because, I mean, you never, I wouldn't assume you wouldn't want to put a record out and then just sit on it and be like, oh, we'll right. tour two months after it comes out. It's like, no, you want to be there when the, the, the pot's hot. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, things have been going really well as far as reception. I've been surprised, honestly, about how many people have been into it. So it's always a good thing, you know? Nice, and then let's go into, I actually wanted to mention Rise Records that um, I guess compared to the release of this album, uh, how has Rise been different? How has Rise, have they, has it been more of like them helping you out, them assisting you, and or is there any difference? Yeah, they've been like, super attentive as far as like getting everything prepared for us and getting everything ready and I mean put as far as like just even uh, 
I guess you'd say like publicizing it, like pushing the album and stuff like that, like leaps and bounds compared to anything we've ever, you know, received before as far as like help from a label and stuff like that. So yeah, Rises, I mean, that was definitely the, the, the big step up for us. And I'm, I'm just thankful we even got the opportunity to, to be part of their label, you know what I mean? That ensures the next X amount of years of our band, so. Alrighty, and I mean, like you just mentioned, you're going to be on the road really pushing this album, and like you said, you, all, you have vinyl and you have the CD with you. Is it important to buy the physical copy of the CD directly from you, and how does that benefit you as a band? Uh, I mean, my whole thing is like, it, basically, however people get the music is, is totally fine with me. A lot of the people that they, they they like will pre-order the record or something, and they'll get their bundle or whatever with it, and then still come to a show and still buy it just to support, which is all good. I mean, I think physical copies, as far as a format for selling music, is definitely dying out. But with that, I mean, it it kind of pushes for a lot of people the fact that you know getting a physical copy is is more important because you know not, they don't make as many anymore. They only out for so long. You know what I'm saying? So. I think that answered the question. I hope it did at least. Oh, yeah, you know? no, it totally does. All right. So being from Texas, are bands bigger and better from Texas? Or what do you have to say about that? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> that's that's Texas is, is the spot. I mean, we were just talking to one of the bands earlier, and they were talking about one of their tours that they did. And uh, they were like, yeah, when we came to Texas, it was it was insane. I was like, yeah, that's, that's what to expect. You know what I mean? Texas is... You can't get so many people in one one awesome state and not have it be badass. You know what right. I mean. So, I'm 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 proud to be from Texas. I love it. You know what I mean. And I'm glad that that we can really put our town on the map as well because we come from an incredibly small town. So for people to all around the country know of Sherman is is that's that's a big deal to us personally. You know. So. Awesome. And then I mean anybody who listens to Kublai. I know that your music is very aggressive, but do you feel like aggressive music is a release for, you know, say, anger or any kind of strong emotions? Oh, yeah, 100%. Because I, I don't think that, for instance, like me personally, I'm not really aggressive by nature, but everybody has frustrations, everybody has issues that they need an outlet for, you know, otherwise you'll just, a couple run over, you know what I'm saying? So as far as playing heavy music and stuff i mean that's when i first started going to shows that was the attraction was you know i can come to a place and just go buck wild and not only it's not only you know accepted it it's encouraged you know what i mean so to be able to do that is is awesome because you can't do that anywhere i mean and everybody has their outlet whether you know it be sports or like weightlifting or going to shows whatever you got you know what i mean and i'm just glad that we can share that with other people you know Man, uh, this is the last question. So, if there's anything that you want to mention that hasn't been said, or anything that you just want to promote, this is your free area to do that. Uh, well, I'll say thank you for for doing the interview with me and stuff like that, and allowing me to be part of this. And if, if I had to plug anything, it'd probably just be this tour. I mean, all the bands on this tour. We got Great American Ghost. We got I Am, Left Behind, and No Zodiac. I mean, go go support all those dudes. I know that. Uh, I am. They put out an album not too long ago. I mean, people need to check that out. On the same day that we put out a record, Great American Ghost did. Uh, I think No Zodiac might have some new shit. And and Left Behind is putting out a new record in I think a, a month or two, something like that. So, just you know, I just want to plug all the bands on the tour because they're all awesome and stuff. So. Hell yeah, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And Kublai Khan has a whole lot going on. They have Nomad. It's out already, so get it if you haven't gotten it yet. Support them on tour. If uh, this tour, if this headlining tour is coming anywhere near you, definitely go and support. Or if you're in Europe, Australia, or if you're going to be seeing them with Hatebreed, then definitely do that. Support this man as much as you can and stay metal. Thanks, everyone. I can't hear my no, I'm enjoying the